I'm Roy Merritt. I'm a Wajiri, Yamaji Wajiri person. I was born in Mullawar in 1937. I'm 82 now. And I do these scarves just off for a hobby. The first one I made of oh, two people come from London. Well, they were down Fremantle there, having a cup of tea in a, on a restaurant there. And they seen this little boy run past one of my scarves on. And they chased him up the street. I said, where do you get that from? He said, oh, my pop make them in Jordan. They were up here the next day to see me. They said, can you make me one three metres six before we go back? So I, me mate made a frame and I made the thing for them and they came up and picked it up. And they took it to London and went on the catwalk in London. That's the last I heard of them too. I never heard any more about them. They never bought one. I never heard any more. I was born in a tent on the outskirts of Mullawa, on the old dock route from Mullawa to Minanew. Uh, I was born in the tent there, then after a year I was shifted into town a bit. We lived down near the Catholic Church. For a while. But Mullow was a great town and we had growing up. They the best town I ever <laughs> lived in, I think. These are little, little scarves, these are little scarves I make. The flowers, the white everlasting, the pink everlasting, the pom-poms and the belly buttons and all them things. Flowers of Mullawa. Lived in wildflower country in Mullawa. We used to roam for miles in the bush through wildflowers. We used to walk 10 k's, no trouble at all, days on. Way down the creek through the wildflowers and back again. Everyone wants to know how to do it, but I'm not showing them. Because that's my money. I said, when I'm too old and feeble to do it, I'll show you then. The main part is the tying and the cutting. No one has seen my work done before. I'm the only one knows it in this district or anywhere. It's a unique, the way you do it, the cutting and the tying. Anyone can weave but they don't know how to cut it or how to tie it. I'm Roy Merritt. I'm 82 now. I learnt these scarves when I was about 10 year, year old in school at Mullawa. We used to make teapot covers for the teapots in the olden days. Yeah, see? You're in demand, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I read somewhere that Sia, the pop singer, wears them yeah. as well. Where do you sell them? All around about here and there. I want to ask you, when you're making this artwork, um, are you trying to say something? Is there a message? No, no message. They're just beautiful, beautiful things. Yeah, flowers, that's all, that's all it is, yeah. yeah. yeah.